Did you know that Madden 17 has a Le'Veon Bell mode designed to let you imitate everything Bell is famous for? Le'Veon Bell mode has been sat there right under your noses the entire time. Now of course you have to be using the Steelers, well actually any team with Le'Veon Bell as the running back will work and this mode can be accessed at any time but I'm just going to show you it in practice mode so that we can get the most out of it. To activate it all you have to do is go into the menu, head on over to the settings then you go into game options and down to game speed. Now most of you will know that Madden has fast, very fast, as well as slow and very slow options. But if you go one more to the left of very slow, and as long as you have Bell on the team, you will find Le'Veon Bell mode. Ah, and I almost forgot to mention, Le'Veon Bell mode comes with its own custom soundtrack performed by Bell himself. So let's take a look at this thing. I'm using random plays for both sides, and we're going to start here at the 30, but then we're going to move on to some other starting points as well, just to get the best possible look. So as you're about to see in Le'Veon Bell mode, you see everything as he does. Time moves slower, it's easy to run through tackles, and you can just get through everybody straight into the end zone. Now what this mode is great for is allowing you to play with patience just like Le'Veon Bell does, making the right move and then getting into the end zone. What's a lot of fun on this one is to throw a pitch. You can get away from everybody nice and easy. You can take your time making the moves, make people look silly and then get into the end zone. So before we move on to another starting position, we can use this play and we can do some classic Bell things. We run, we see we don't like it, we can turn, we can head off over here Got to beat this guy, that was easy. Got to get around these guys, that was easy again. It's Le'Veon Bell mode after all, and we're in the end zone. So we've moved the ball to the 50 yard line and now we can throw some passes to Bell as well. Why not start with the screen play here? Could throw a quick one out. He's got his blockers in front of him. Give him time to set up. You can even stop there and then you can go around. Everybody had time to do everything. It's the classic patience we know and you're into the end zone. It's the common trend here, end zone. Let's try some runs again though. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, we don't like that. Cut around him there. Get around the outside of this guy, he's not going to catch us. And we're being chased, but he's not quick enough. We're in the end zone. Alright, so we've got to get another screen opportunity here. Why not throw it? Easy again. Stop. Make your blocks. There we go. Get around from him. Fight off the contact. We did it. We're going to have one guy to beat here with a move. Which we get the spin move. Get out of that guy. And we're in for the touchdown. Now that was a classic run. As a matter of fact, let's watch that one in just a normal speed. As it would look for anybody else. Let's take one more run to the outside here. And that was just an easy read off the blocks. Let's let's pull some moves here if we have to. Well, nope. Nope, he just fell over for no reason. And we stumbled into the end zone. I have no idea what happened there. Now we're at the one yard line. We're looking at a 99 yard field here. And let's see what we can find. Find the hole there without one of our linemen getting in our way. But we get through those tacklers. Can we fight off this guy? Yes, we can. And Le'Veon Bell's gonna go for the 99 yard touchdown. Um, let's speed this entire thing up. Alright, so they've got no safeties here. Looks like they're going to be blitzing. Let's see how strong Ben Roethlisberger's arm is. He's not going to have much time. He's just got to throw it up there. And, well, he's going to get that, isn't he? That's easy. Let's speed this up as well. Who's got time? Running inside with a lot of defenders in the box. But it was easy. And we managed to get through that one. Managed to stay up. And we get tackled. Alright, let's throw this pass out here. So we got that. Now we're going to have some guys to beat. We get around him with a juke. We can't fight through this. Yes, we can fight through this. Three guys aren't enough. And off we go. And, well, you know the deal. Let's see if we can reverse the field here in the end zone. There was some immediate trouble there. Get over him. Get around the outside here. And we're gone. Look at that. We've got ourselves a convo with Antonio Brown. And, well... So one final play here before we move on to a final thing. It's a pretty nice counter there. We're going to have some guys to beat though. We managed to spin off him. The juke wasn't perfect. Let's spin around this guy. Well, that's a lot of spinning. <laughs> it didn't quite work out like it was supposed to. But in Le'Veon Bell mode, it always goes your way. And we're in for this final 99-yard touchdown before we try one last thing. So why not try a 99-yard wildcat as well? We're run to the right, so Big Ben is blocking for us. We've got to make some cuts here. And he's going to make that final block. And we're through. And let's speed it up. What are, you, what are you saying, Rex Ryan? Get out of here. No chance. Not in Le'Veon Bell mode. Let's try one more time. I mean, it went so well the last time. Why not try it again? And again. Great blocking. Couldn't catch me. Too fast. Too elusive. And that guy just stepped on the field. Throw a flag on him and we're off. 
And that was Levy on Bell mode. It's an interesting look into how the game happens for Bell when he's out there carrying the ball. He just seems to have so much more time than everybody else and he can really sit back there, watch it develop before he decides what to do. And with this mode, you can too. If you liked Madden 17 Levy on Bell edition and would like to see some more special editions of Madden, let me know in the comments. You can also let me know which players you would like to see. Yeah, Trent Bayless, I've been hearing you lately. You love Jerry way too much, you acting like y'all related. I got the Hall of Fame waiting. I'm the best and you hate it. I don't know why you hate it. I don't know why you hate me. Probably cause my name is mentioned close with some of the greatest. Then they talk about patience, you close to testing my patience. You say whatever for ratings. I'm not blind, I can see it. You say I'm just an average.